last furlong and it's knickers in a twist. Come on, knickers in a twist. Knickers in a twist. Come on, 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 knickers in a that was brilliant. Oh, I think the next time we should put a bet on. <laughs> oh. <sighs> Do you know, Ma, isn't uh -huh. it great without Da and Carl around the house? I still can't believe they're actually out working. <laughs> And I'll do them no harm. Sure, all he ever did was sit around drinking and watching TV. <laughs> Is my dad still hunting for the tout you grasped him to the door? Oh, that's what he does in his spare time. Right. <laughs> Is countdown on yet? What are you doing home at this time of the day? I have sold my last 99. <laughs> my career as Mr Whippy's assistant has been put on ice. But you've only been at it for two days. Aye, will you try taking an ice cream van up to that school? They're like wild animals swarming round the van, screaming and shouting. They've never got the right money. They're always changing their minds. It's only kids. That wasn't the kids. That was the teachers. <laughs> so I've resigned. You know you'll not get any brew now. Don't care. Sure isn't Carl still working? <laughs> not anymore, Dolly. Oh, Carl, how could you get the sack from Mr Burger's litter patrol? <laughs> I don't see it as the sack. It was more of an ideological split. What did you do, son? Well, the manager felt we should just go round and pick up the Mr. Burger robbers. Whereas I felt we should visit the culprits and give them 24 hours to leave the country. <laughs> Carl. How'd it come to this? One day I'm a respected figure in the Republican movement. And the next, I'm walking the streets, dressed as a hamburger. The two of you is bloody useless. We have no money now, so, so what are you going to do, yeah? Ma, ma, have some faith. Dan and me are going to devote every ounce of our energy, initiative and intelligence. To hunting down the rotten toot who grassed us to the DSS. But first... Ricky Lake. <laughs> well, how are you going to find out who did it? Simple, we'll start by making a list of all the people who don't like us. O'Hara Francis. O'Hara Joseph. Joseph Patrick or Joseph Philip. Both. Oh, hurrah. It's been two weeks, so you's not finished that list yet. We got bogged down in the max. Do you not think you'd be better off looking for another job? No need to. Carl and I have solved the employment problem. We are going to hold a community festival and cream off all the grants we can get. Grants? <laughs> Who in their right mind would give you the grant? Excuse me, but we are eligible for an international cross-community European peace and reconciliation, cultural traditions, arts council cooperation north, local enterprise community development, millennium grant. <laughs> or ekka pricka licka -da -da -dum for short. And then there's children in need. Children in need? You're not children in need. That's okay. We'll adopt some. Right, Carl, you do the children in need for them, and I'll do this one. Well, what are you going to be doing? Oh, just something in Irish. They usually just send a check rather than translate it. That reminds me. There's an Irish language grant. I never thought of that, Carl. Guramila Mayogat. <laughs> What's the matter with him? I don't know. He's been like this for over an hour. <laughs> Uncle Andy? I've been sacked. You couldn't be sure you never had a job. <laughs> Excuse me, I gave Belfast City Council the best 24 years of my life. What? We regret to inform you that your post as assistant lavatory attendant has been terminated. <laughs> As you've been on continuous sick leave for 23... 23 years?! I thought the RUC was bad! Bad back! Oh, God love you! Although you claim to be confined to a wheelchair, you have won the jiving trophy at every Christmas party for 23 years. Your contract is therefore terminated without notice. 
P.S. Your 12 days of Christmas, sung in the manner of Elvis, will be sadly missed. <laughs> this is an outrage. Nationalists take over the city hall and hard-working Protestants are led off to make way for lazy Fenians. <laughs> no doubt I have been replaced by a Seamus or a Michal. Replaced? Uncle Andy, you can't replace somebody who's never actually been there in the first place. All right, and what's all this about a bad back? I took it during the UWC strike and never went back. You mean you were on strike when you left? I see the harm of discrimination here. I discrimination against lazy bastards. <laughs> I stood up for loyalism in 1974, and this is their revenge. Where am I going to find a juicy job like lavatory attendant, where you do nothing but sit in your arse all day? There's always good jobs in the Irish news. <laughs> Look, there's a good one there. Caretaker at the Bun Skull in the Belfast, you? Nah, I don't want to work in a bakery. <laughs> All right, well, if you don't mind travelling, there's a nice job there in Cross McGlen. Uh, no, 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 Emer. He's not going to Cross McGlen. I mean, last time I was there, there was a sign up saying sniper at work. Probably the only Finian who was working. <laughs> right, well, what about this one then? Security guard? Nah. Van driver? Nah. Process operator? Nah. Catering assistant? Nah. Jeez. So much for the Protestant work ethic. Oh, hey, Lord, that's interesting. What is it? Chief beer taster at the knee breakers? Nah, I wouldn't steal Big Mervyn's job. <laughs> nah, it's an international, cross community European. Peace and reconciliation, cultural traditions, Arts Council Cooperation North, Local Enterprise Community Development Millennium Grant. Uncle Andy, that's about community relations. You don't even believe in that. I do. I'm all for reconciliation and mutual respect. Besides, why should the land Fenians get all the grants? <laughs> Hello, I'm Peter Ferris from the International Cross Community European ah, Peace and Reconciliation. Come on in, mate. Come on in, mate. Sit down. Welcome to Festival House. So, this is the headquarters. That was never approved. Box office. <laughs> yes, that is correct. Well, I'm here about your application for a grant. Great. Now, listen, we want cash now, no checks. Oh, well, <laughs> well, there's a few things we have to go through before we can make a decision like that. Now, I've translated your application. You did? And you're holding a community festival and calling it Fela and Up of the Provos. Ah, uh, that's it, yup. Well, you can't call it that. But we made the posters and everything. That's exactly the trouble. It's not very cross community, is it? All right, all right. Well, let the stickies take part. No, no, no. I, 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 what? You want the SDLP voters too? How are we supposed to enjoy ourselves with that miserable get Joe Hendren moping about the place? The problem I have with this application is that everything in it is from a Republican slant. That's not true. There's the bouncy castle. <sighs> Escape from the bouncy maze prison. <laughs> You're not reaching out, are you? Aye, we are. There's a crowd from the Ardoin coming. No, I'm talking about Protestants. I'm not with you, mate. There's nothing here for Protestants. Aye, there is. There's the lecture I'm giving on why pros are sectarian. They're more than welcome to come to that. I'll be in touch. Peter, welcome to Uncle Andy's Loyalist Heritage Centre. What religion are ye? Um, Methodist. Prods go free at number three. <laughs> Come on, Ed, son. <clears throat> this is a pair of Andy Teary's tinted glasses <laughs> from 1974. This way. This is a lock of David Irvine's hair. <laughs> this is an original autographed 
Willie McRae album. <laughs> but la pièce de la Ulster Resistance must be the king. You want a grant for this? Aye, just make a check out the CASH. Oh, well, I think the board might have some difficulties funding this. Oh, aye. And why is that? Because it doesn't fit in with you and your horns across the barricades? Let's have a candlelight vigil on the peace line. Motorcycling, peace training, and wake dove release and cross community holiday and mates. Spot on, Uncle Andy. Goodbye. <laughs> Dear Dad. I am ready to inform you that your application for a grant has been rejected. Rejected? <laughs> this is one of the most sectarian applications we have ever received. <laughs> Count yourselves lucky we did not pass it on to the Director of Public Prosecutions <laughs> under the terms of the Incitement to Hatred Act. Funny Uncle Andy got a letter just like that. He was in for it as well. Huh, I suppose he had a bouncy storm on Castle. It was a sort of a museum of Protestant culture. Well, I can't have taken up much space then. <laughs> Pocket sized, was it? <laughs> <laughs> See, now that's exactly that sort of attitude that lost you that grant. You would have had a much better chance if you'd got together with Uncle Andy and submitted a joint proposal. I'd rather starve. There's your tea. Oh, not baked beans again. I had the same last night. No, you didn't. That was with toast. This is without. <laughs> Amer, do you want some tea? No, thanks, Mommy. Billy's taking me out. Oh, lovely. Somewhere special? Nah, just Ross Coffs again. Uh. <laughs> anyway, enjoy your beans. Carl, I've been thinking. True republicanism embraces all religions. Catholic, Protestant and the centre. The first day I heard of it. <laughs> Maybe Emer's right. Maybe it's time we opened our hearts, extended the hand of friendship, and embraced our fellow Irishmen of the Unionist tradition. What? Get the car with a lot of prawns for a cross-community grant. I don't believe this. The Loyalist Knee Breakers Club. Do you think it was ways to tell Uncle Andy would meet him at a time and place of his choosing? Hi, lads! <laughs> You said you'd bring us to a neutral venue. Well, you want to see the place right in the corner? This is as neutral as it gets around here. We're a bit worried we might stand out. Well, if you wear those ribbons, you'll never stand up again. I don't know. Are we going to be safe? Look, just put these on and you'll fit in. And try and walk like a person, would you? Uncle Andy, you are probably the worst living example of dead in the wool, hard line, loyalist sectarian bigotry. Oh, Lord, that's not fair. There's a fella in Kulabaki. Whereas I have been unfairly branded by the Brit propaganda machine as some sort of Republican extremist. Unfair, I know, but there it is. So I reckon if we can make this an all-inclusive grant application and show that we at the extremes of the conflict can sit down and work together, then we should be able to achieve an outcome that is beneficial to both communities. So a spoofer load split the dough and never have to see each other's bakes again? Exactly. Well, I hate to admit it, but that is a brilliant idea. I mean, what we should do with it, though? Carl, will you stop fidgeting? You're making me nervous. I just can't relax. I feel like everybody's looking at me. Ways up. Everybody's not... Uncle Andy? Everybody's looking at us. Oh, stop being paranoid. All right, all right, all right. You're right. These two are fiends. Hey, what? But it's all right. They're my mates. What? 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 What?
Business partners. Oh, what? Look, we're a plan for a cross-community grant. <laughs> right, well, before we begin tonight, I would just like to say I'm very delighted that the three of yous has come together for to promote peace and reconciliation. Yous will be a shining example. All right, to... all right, all right. How do we get our hands in this dough? Right, well, what you could do is set up a peace and reconciliation centre. Like the peace people. Oh, no, 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 no. I wouldn't try and take their money off them. <laughs> Life wouldn't be worth living. What are you talking about? You see, Emer, the paramilitaries have the pubs and the building sites, whereas the peace people have the peace and reconciliation racket. <laughs> that's the way it's been split, and that's the way it stays. Right, well, what about kids? There's always loads of money in kids. You could take a group of deprived ones off to a camp. That's a great idea. I've loads of experience at camps in Donegal. There was counterintelligence. There was hand-to-hand -hand combat. No, Carl, I'm not talking about a training camp. I'm talking about taking a group of kids abroad for a nice summer holiday. What? And Mr. Drum Cree Standoff? <laughs> Are you mad? In his internment night, Lower Ormo, Darry's Walls. <laughs> not to mention Dunloy and Harryville. <laughs> the way you talk about it, you think this place was a holiday resort? <laughs> Now there's an idea. That is a stroke of genius, Dad. I've just got one question. What? Well, is it safe to take these hats off? No, 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 no. I cannot recommend you for a grant. But it's the two communities together. It's the two communities being sectarian together. Well, that's progress. <laughs> Please, don't get me wrong. We're all four Protestants and Catholics coming together to form a small business. But we don't think Troubles Tours is going to promote the right sort of image of Northern Ireland to foreign tourists. But it's a fun day out. No, it's not. <sighs> Troubles Tours is tasteless, cynical, exploitative, and, 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 and panders to the basis of voyeurism. Exactly. We'll be packing them in. <laughs> I'm sorry. You cannot have a grant. I need a grant. I'm living on beans. I'm so desperate. I'm prepared to mix with an ignorant prod. No offence, Andy. None taken. Keep going. I think he's falling for it. Give me a grant, please. No, do my best. You're going, Andy. All right. Please. Well, lads, we did our best, and I have to say, you two done brilliant. We made a great team, but at the end of the day, we didn't get it. So, get the hell out of my house, you finian bastards! Fair enough. Mm -hmm. Hang on a minute. Why don't we just do the tour anyway? No, Carl. We weren't going to do the tour, son. We were just going to take the grant and say no tourists turned up. Well, that's a pity, like, because I have eight advanced bookings. And a 20 quid a head, that's... They all want to experience what the Troubles was really like. I've got Americans, Germans, and a fella from the Malone Road. Lads, 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 lads. <laughs> what are you doing starting in the doorway? Sit down. <laughs> anyway, I've got the tour route planned. The bus picks them all up tomorrow morning outside the city hall. Bus? What bus? Ah, there's always a hitch, isn't there? <laughs> Don't worry, lads. I'll sort out that transport. <laughs> Hello, is that the police? Yeah, I'd like to report a theft from outside my front door. It's a large grey Land Rover. <laughs> uh, 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 distinguishing features? Yeah, it's armour plated and it's got the confidential. I... Yeah, it is me, Sarge. <laughs> no, Emer hasn't taken it shopping again. Troubles tours. Yes, sir. Yes, thank you very much, sir. Yes. Uh, there you go. There's your ticket. Welcome thank aboard you. Troubles tours. One, two, one, two. Bonjour, guten tag, top of the morning to you. Oh, that's sort of old bollocks. Uh, my name is Da, and our driver today is Uncle Andy. What about you? 
Welcome aboard this RUC Pigmobile. Now, if you look through the slits to the left and right of the vehicle, you will notice that you can see bugger all, really. So concentrate on what I'm telling you. Now, our tour today starts on the picturesque West Link. Then it's up the falls, down the shankle, stopping off at the Loyalist Kneebreakers Club for late refreshments. Don't forget to put your hats on for that one. We are now standing outside what Seamus Heaney described as Belfast's very own Eiffel Tower, the world famous Divis Tower. Now the tower was designed in the 60s by a complete Dobrian, probably from the DOV, who decided it would be a super idea to cram a lot of poor families in some shoe boxes miles up in the sky, while he no doubt was lumped with some six bedroom house out in the country. Five pounds takes you halfway up the tower, but for ten pounds you can go right to the top where you can experience the complete panoramic view of the city. The tower restaurant is situated in flat 47A. There is also a souvenir shop where you can purchase your very own miniature Bivis tower. A snip at £7.50. Starting only now please. We do not accept punts, unfortunately. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Bollocks! Not again. <coughs> Carl. Uh, it's dead interesting when you get up here. You'll really love it. You can see all the seats from the top. You can see um, Jerry Adams' house. You can see uh, Casement Gill <coughs> Park. You can see Alex Mosky's back garden. It's dead. I think it's great. <coughs> Do you mind walking? Just this way, this way. We are now approaching Riot Corner for the highlight of our trip today. And our riders today are Bill and Martha Bloomberg from Des Moines in Idaho. So please, give them a big round of applause. Ready, Bill? Ready, Martha? Hello, Troubles Tours. Amer speaking. How may I help you? <laughs> One moment, please, sir. Uncle Andy, there's a crowd of Swedes want to book for the half two tour on Monday. No, we're fully booked. I am sorry, sir. There is no places available. No, sir, the Drum Cree Tours does not start until July. <laughs> Thank you. Uncle Andy, there was an American lawyer on the phone earlier. He wanted to know if we were insured. What? Well, apparently one of his clients is suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder. From the tour? No, from the food in Mama's restaurant. <laughs> Yes, very nice. <laughs> there you go, two Irish coffees. Should I be cream with this? <sighs> Your Land Rover's arrived. Right, come on, you can take come them on, with you. Come, come on. Snell! Snell! <laughs> take the stairs, and that's not working. Enjoy, Lego me. Typical bloody Germans. No tip. God, my, I am knackered. I have not worked so hard since... When was that week? 1983. Oh, you better look lively, because there's a crowd of Japanese booked in for three o'clock. Oh, no, and we're out of Murphy's. Da, I am sick of this. Do you know what the trouble with this is? It's... It's... Work. That's it, ma. Work. I mean... It's just not what I want to do with my career. If I have to listen to another American. If I have to look at another congealed fry. Yeah, when you think about it, the good thing about the Troubles was there was no tourists. Aye, right right there. There. Yeah. They like tourists. All they do is complain about nothing. My coffee's cold. My beer's warm. I've been mugged. <laughs> Tell you what. Let's wind it all up. Sure, we've made enough money, haven't we? Ah, uh, no. I had to give it all to some American lawyer. 
Oh no! It's the Japanese! Kanichiwa! Welcome on our guest to Peter? Hello, Da. Can we come in? Hi. This is Brian from the Northern Ireland office and Ted from the Northern Ireland Tourist Board. Well, I'll get straight to the point. We'd love to give you a huge grant. Ah, oh, no, 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 no. We've had our fellow cross community grant. No, no, please, let me finish. We'd love to give you a huge grant to, uh, to, uh, to stop it. If it's about Ma's phrase, the health and safety. No, no, no. We'd like to give you a grant because uh, Trumpo's Tours is ruining the economy of Northern Ireland. It's destroying our image abroad. So please, just take the grant and stop it. Hold on a minute. This is a thriving cross-community business, built up by our own sweat. You take away a man's work, you take away his dignity. I think what Uncle Auntie's trying to say is, how much? <laughs> oh, no. That is a pretty sight. To think I knocked my pan in at the council for years, and I didn't get half of that. Look at that, Carl. We'll never have to claim the brew ever again. Jesus, that's about ten drum crees, that. Hey, Mark, we, we can put this in the C30 at Doncaster. <laughs> I think not. This hard-earned cash belongs to me and my trusty comrades, Da and Carl. Exactly, Uncle Andy, me old mucker. Here's the Protestants and Catholics coming together. Working together. And fleecing the government together. Cheers! <laughs> Boy, did you look at the great mates. Aye, not so long ago, he was grasping up Dan Calvin at dough. What? what? <laughs> Aye, it was Uncle Andy got your dough stopped. You mean he was the pig? Oh, come on, lads. That's before we were mates. Give me that check. You're not getting a penny of this. Ach, now, Dad, don't be like that. No, he's a tight. What are you talking about? Didn't you get your Sinn Féin mates to get Andy the sack out of the council? <laughs> what? <laughs> that wasn't tightened. That was affirmative action. You conniving, backstabbing, thingin'. Give me that check. Ah, now look at that. You've ripped the check. Good, because them two aren't getting any of it. I'd rather eat this check and see you get any of it. Carl, eat that. Stop ripping that! Come on, stop! Come on, stop! Oh, no. oh, would you give me a headpiece? No. <laughs>